An example, if brother Masri goes to the shop and he asks, what is the price of this? Maybe 1,000 ringgit, the guy will look at him, 2,000. And then they will keep on bargaining, bargaining, and then 1,500, he buy it. If the sister come to buy this, believe me, in some cases he will sell it to her 500 ringgit. Why? The same item, she got it 500, and he got it 1,500. And the sister, they look at the men, they said, you're cheated all the time. Because when we buy, it is cheap. When you buy, it is very, very expensive. Why with us is cheap, uh, is expensive, and with them is, is, is uh, cheap? Because someone is enjoying the additional price, you're paying 1,000. Her own 1,000 is her honor, the voice that he is, I mean, listening to. So he's enjoying seeing with a woman, that's why he doesn't mind to cut down the price. And you, what do you have? Nothing. He has to get the money, at least, from you. This is the fact. When you go there, you are selling something, and he knows, and this is what he's looking for. Yeah. Did you ever see the advertising something with a naked man? No, it never happened. But go wherever you go. Last time I went to a place, I saw even the pictures of women on the floor. They were stepping on, on them. It's a very nice improvement. Yeah, they used to put the pictures here. But to show you that, yes, they have mission in, in this. In some places, they advertise they were looking for women to work with them, but they don't want men. Why only women? Why only women? Because they know that wherever you have women, that means you are going to sell the thing. Because some people, they will go to your shop not to buy anything, but just to talk to the woman. And when they are in the shop, they have to buy something. That's it. They know this. So that's why the Muslim sisters shouldn't be deceived in these kind of things. And wherever you go nowadays, you already know this. I don't have to explain why, why, why women, why not men. Yeah, because there is something which the non-believers, uh, shaitan knows it. If we have this, we're going to take the mind of the young people. I will remind you about something, which I will finish your answer with it. One of the Orientalists, he said, you fight Muslim with sword, with power, you're just wasting your time. He said, you fight Muslim with power, you're wasting your time. Because they tried. From the time of the Prophet Sallallahu they never win. They came in one of the, in one of the battles, the Kuffar, they are 600,000. The Muslim, they are only 16,000. And Muslim won. I mean, every single ca uh, Muslim is equivalent to 40 Kuffar. And still Muslim, they win in that battle. What kind of, I mean, human being is this? Victory. So that's why he said, to fight Muslim with weapons, you're wasting your time. You will never defeat Muslim with weapons. He said, but there is another way. He said, when you want to de defeat the Muslims, he said, take the hijab of woman. This is a long time ago. They said, take the hijab of woman and cover Quran with it. If they take the hijab of woman, who's going to be lost? Come to the schools, even the young generation, IS, for example. Just watch a group of boys talking. Bring the name of God. Everyone's attention is going to be paid to you. Why? Because now the topic is about girls. Even with the young generation. So the first person that is going to be lost if the woman is coming out without proper hijab is the young generation. And who is going to take over the society? The young, the old people, they will die. And who is going to take over? The young people are now, they are changed, they are destroyed. Why? Because there is nothing to protect them. And there will be nothing to bring them back except Quran. And remember, now they, they are enjoying seeing women without hijab, so they hate what? Hijab. They don't want to see hijab. If you talk about hijab, the first person to fight you is the young people. Why? Why hijab? Why you ask them to wear hijab? So they don't want to see hijab, and wherever there is hijab, these people, they don't want to go there. And the only thing you have to bring them back is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you put it in the hijab. And the young generation, they hate hijab. When do you think they are going to check Quran? No time. Did they succeed? They succeeded. They succeeded. So this is my advice to you, sister. Just maintain your attitude. Increase it. Make it more higher. Let them say to you whatever they want to say. You will take revenge, inshallah, in paradise. Be in Allah. Inshallah. What is the last part?